So the Xbox One June update is available and you can actually install it right now. The pretty cool thing about it is that because of the last update, you can manually uh, run your update. So to basically do that, you hit the menu button, go to settings, or you could use connect. Don't feel like using it because I'm actually talking at the same time. Go into system, scroll down to where it says update console. It's time to update. It's going to tell you that you can start the update and um, run from there. Now this update allows you to use a this bad boy here. I have external storage out there, so I'm going to basically be doing that. And we'll let this update run through. It's a two percent. I'll let you know how long it takes, and uh, we'll jump in and test out our portable hard drive right there. All right. So the update took maybe about twenty to twenty-five minutes. It's it's fairly quick, but it does a couple of things and has made a bunch of changes to your. Xbox One. Um, I'm just going to read off some of the changes for you here as we go through. Uh, first of all, it supports a USB 3.0 hard drive like I showed you earlier. Actually supports two of them connected at the same time, 256 gigabytes and up. You can actually store your games there. Um, you also can change your name so you can have to share your real name or your, you know, instead of just your uh, username like mine's Thunder Emperor. Um, now, Xbox Live Gold game area also shows up. Games with gold, deals with gold, special announcements for Xbox Live Gold. It's also got account auto sign in, so once you turn on your Xbox, you automatically sign you. Um, updated store twist, TV guide, uh, updated IR command and controls, um, TV guide uh, updates, um, better power management for control devices, uh, expanded premium TV for Canada, United Kingdom, France, Germany, Spain, and Italy. So those are that. Now let's look at some of that, the stuff we mentioned. So you can see now in the store area, it looks different. It already has a different feel. You can see the categories are now on the right-hand side of the store. And um, we we did hear from Major Nelson that we would get premium apps like HBO Go. I already searched uh, the app store um, and I went in here and there is no HBO Go yet, but hopefully it should come soon. But uh, the layout is slightly different now. They did mention games for gold, so let's go into games and see what we have here. So we have games, we have featured. I'm Xbox, uh, I have Xbox Live Gold, so maybe I'm already in it. I don't exactly know. I uh, have new releases, top games right now, popular games, recommended, uh, new game demos, top selling, top rated. And that's pretty much it. So I don't see games for gold in any aspect. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm not just doing something correctly, um, but nothing of the sorts. Let's just go into new games here. We have Wolfenstein, Watch Dogs. Now, basically Xbox Live Games for Gold, you just get two games every month. Uh, right now it is uh, Halo Spartan Assault. So actually, let me search for that and see if I can actually um, download that. I have my keyboard plugged in. It is free and you're basically in um, Games for Gold. So if I type in, uh, click on that, it should be free because I'm an Xbox Live Gold member. And there we go, confirm, confirm, and yeah. So yeah, so with Xbox Live Gold, you get two free games a month. Um, Halo Spartan Assault is the first game, um, one of the games that he mentioned. I can't remember the second one as we confirm this and we'll cut through this section. All right, so I'm just going to, it's Q to install. Now let's go check out some of the other features, especially the, uh, the hard drive. So the hard drive right now, I can go to actually manage my drive and manage where my games are. If I hit menu, I go into settings. Um, I can basically go into system. And let's see, Xbox, manage storage. So you go into manage storage on the right hand corner of system. And this gives you, you can see internal storage and you have Xbox games. Now, when you plug in your, your storage the first time, you actually have to set it up. It's going to tell you if you want to um, basically. Um, or format your drive and also name it and then you can actually go through the management management so that's internal 
this is Xbox games uh, Xbox games is my external storage right there that's a 500 gigabyte storage hard drive that's my internal if I go in here I can view the content I can rename I can format um, for the internal I can install here by default or view and that's it so I go back in here view contents I only have one game in there right now and that's going to be Halo Spartan Assault that's in my um, that's this is basically in my uh, portable now if I go into my in, in storage devices here internal if I go into internal I can see the games that are internal I can transfer certain games from external to internal and basically move from system to system so for instance rise I can actually move that game go here if you have a game disc otherwise oh for the rise it was actually a game disc so uh, let's take the FIFA demo um, oops Xbox go back uh, X okay you can't go back from here okay so I get that um, but you get the idea uh, in there so I can go to manage game so I can go ahead view all I can move or copy or I can uninstall it so I can let's let's move all let's move that and you're gonna move into that hard drive hit move and it should do that once uh, it's done downloading. So that's that in terms of the game management. And of course, if we go um, to our friends, you can now definitely change your name. You can change it from uh, whatever username you have and push it over to your real name if you choose. So that's in there. Some of the other features we can't really take a look at that I mentioned, but I can go ahead and change that and you can see it's uh, it's getting my list and activities. It looks like my Xbox is kind of slowed down for a little bit, which is interesting. Uh, help set up your name sharing. No thanks. So basically, once you go, that's the first time. So you go and you can either set up name sharing or you don't. I'm gonna set it up. So no thanks. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. That is um, that is the Xbox June update. Uh, allows you to use a portable USB 3.0 hard drive, 256 NUP. Uh, you now have games for Windows, which we just download downloaded. Um, Halo Spartan Assault for free as an Xbox Live Gold member. You get two every month. Now you will maintain those two as long as you have an Xbox Live Gold membership. Uh, next up is also premium applications. 180 new premium applications will be coming. They're not here yet. So things like HBO Go will also be coming and hitting um, very soon. We already have Netflix and Hulu Plus. And then also you can manage your game storage. So if you guys have any questions or any comments, let us know. Otherwise, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and favorite this video. And this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.